Unveiling the meaning, to be on the anvil. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms and phrases. Specifically, we'll explore what it means, to be on the anvil. This phrase might sound a bit mysterious at first, but it's rich with history and meaning. So, let's get started and uncover the secrets behind this intriguing expression. To be on the anvil is an idiom that paints a vivid picture if you're familiar with the traditional blacksmith's anvil. An anvil is a heavy iron block used in metalworking. Blacksmiths use it as a surface to hammer and shape hot metal into desired forms. When something is said, to be on the anvil, it metaphorically means that it is in a state of being formed, changed, or decided upon. This phrase suggests a process of development or transformation that is currently underway but not yet completed. The origin of this idiom is deeply rooted in the age-old craft of blacksmithing, which has been essential in societies for centuries. Blacksmiths were crucial for creating tools, weapons, and various metal objects that societies depended on. The anvil, therefore, symbolizes creation, transformation, and the hard work involved in turning raw materials into useful items. By relating to this craft, the phrase, to be on the anvil, evokes the idea of undergoing a significant process of change or development, much like metal being shaped by the blacksmith's hands. Today, we use, to be on the anvil, in various contexts to describe situations, projects, or plans that are in the process of being developed or decided. For example, if a company is planning a new project that hasn't been finalized yet, it could be said that the project is on the anvil. This phrase is particularly useful for emphasizing the dynamic, ongoing nature of the development process. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase can be used in sentences. The new education policy is still on the anvil, with discussions ongoing among various stakeholders. Our vacation plans are on the anvil. We're still deciding between the beach and the mountains. The company's expansion strategy is on the anvil, awaiting approval from the board. These examples illustrate the phrase's versatility and how it can be applied to various scenarios involving planning, decision-making, and development processes. And there we have it. To be on the anvil is a powerful expression that captures the essence of being in a state of formation or decision. It's a reminder of the continuous processes of change and development that shape our projects, plans, and even our lives. We hope this video has shed some light on this intriguing phrase and enriched your understanding of the English language. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating topics with you in the future. Happy learning!